Hello, thank you for joining me. It's Monday, the 29th of January. I'm here with a two card tarot reading for you. So let's see who comes out. It's Poppy tiptoeing about, if you haven't heard her before. <laughs> One, two. Okay, well, interesting combination. Today we've got the Hermit and we've got the Six of Wands with it. So I said these are two very different cards. I feel like they've got very different energies. We've got this very kind of mellow purple scene going on here with the hermit um, sitting on the side of that cliff there on their own. And then you've got the six of wands, which is a really powerful looking card, really. You've got this guy with his lion there surrounded by fire and um, with his hands kind of out, isn't it? And I think... Um, it's almost like the two sides of our personalities, isn't it? There's, t there's times when we need to be withdrawn and there's times when we almost want to be out there shouting to the world what we can celebrate for ourselves, what we've done, what we've achieved. Um, so I guess that's getting the balance right, really. And I think when I'm talking about this message, I'm getting a, a message come through about ego and soul. Sometimes there are, there are opportunities for us to really... Um, bask in our ego a little bit, you know, and be like, oh, I'm so proud of myself. I did this, I did that. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. And I feel like that six of wands is, is reminding us that we should be really proud of our achievements. We don't often do that. I think as humans, we tend to always be very critical of ourselves, sometimes to the extreme, never see any good in our appearance, our beliefs, our, any, everything. And we can just keep ourselves quite small. So I feel with the Six of Wands today, we're being encouraged to be proud, to talk about what we have achieved. And, you know, you might need that energy. You might be going for a job interview or you might need to, you, you might be, I don't know, applying for a loan to run a business or something. You, you might need to actually... Um, be showing somebody that you are right for a particular path that you want to take, okay? It might be advertising your services or just, um, I don't know, wanting to be part of a committee. I kind of feel like there's that part of us today where we've got to tell people that we're the right person and this is why, this is what I've done. Nothing wrong with that at all. But I feel as well, you've got to get that balance between putting ourselves forward and showing that we are right and actually that still being in line with our soul because if we don't we can get a little bit carried away with our ego and we can lose sight of our path so that's where I feel like this hermit is coming in so I, I want to almost suggest that today if we have to be this person we're doing it for the right reasons we're not doing it just to boost our ego and make ourselves feel better we're doing it because we truly do feel it's the right path for us, okay? Um, and that, that is always a very difficult line because um, our egos can get a little bit carried away with us sometimes, can't they? Um, so, you know what, this is a collective message. So let's swip, swap that round a bit and assume that you're taking, drawing more energy from this hermit card and that you are feeling, not that you want to go out and shout, about who you are and what you've done but you're actually feeling no I need this is now the time for me to withdraw and you know that's okay too I feel like this is as I say it's a balance within us and however you see these cards today one is gonna you're gonna feel more drawn to one than the other but they are both parts of everybody so if you are feeling like you know what the world's a bit shouty today I don't really want to be part of it or feeling a little bit overwhelmed, and we can do at the moment, especially if you're watching the news, there doesn't seem to be any good news at all at the moment, so that can be quite overwhelming. Um, or maybe, you know, sometimes when we get to the end of January, it can be a bit of a trudge, can't it? <laughs> oh, nearly there, nearly payday. <laughs> so it might be that feeling that actually, I really just don't want to go out and shout about things today. I will do, I know I can do that. I know I've got some things that I should be really proud of, but right now is not the time. So I feel like that's the hermit energy, but what I'm sort of get, getting as a warning here is to not not get too caught up with this hermit energy and retreat and retreat and retreat because there are going to be times 
when you are going to be called and needed and you're going to be the perfect person. So don't lose sight of that. OK, so I think we can withdraw and still be very, very proud of who we are and what we've done. I think we can be very proud of who we are and what we've done, but still take moments to listen to that quiet inner voice that's guiding us where we need to be. So however these resonate with you today, do bear in mind that you possibly need to have a little bit of both of these energies and don't run away with being too much like one or the other because um, mm, life is a difficult balance sometimes, isn't it? <laughs> so a little bit challenging perhaps for some of us today, but the cards are coming out to show you that you can do it. You can be, um, you know, you can be both of these people and um, still follow your path and be your awesome self. Okay, I hope that helps today. I'll be back again tomorrow with another message for you. Bye for now.